Hello and welcome. I'm going to show you a quick video on how to set up pixel patterns. It's very easy in Blue Eye Macro, and I'm going to use this image. It's from a capture of a game I got off the Blue Eye Macro forums. I've used it in the capture videos also, so you may recognize it. If you haven't checked those out, be sure and check them out. So, first thing to do is name your macro, and I'll just do pixel pattern, put in the tutorials category and type begin. There's a couple different ways that you can set up pixel patterns. A lot of different instructions. One is color and I'll show you some of those. You just type in P for pixel pattern. You can see there's weight for pixel pattern and there's other ones but I'm gonna actually I just want it to move the mouse so I'm gonna go to mouse dot M for move and then scroll down so I see pixel pattern couple options if you watch the capture videos we used near coordinate last time I'm just going to use move to pixel pattern this time and one of the nice things about blue eye macro is sometimes it does a lot of the work for you like this icon that shows up whenever you have uh, blank spaces in these quotes like when you first start it it'll have this import from investigator so you just click on that it'll open investigator for you and I already saved a screenshot, but I'll uh, get rid of that and open it back up so I can show you how to do that. So basically all you have to do, let me move this out of the way too. Move those over. All right, open up Investigator, hit print screen. It'll bring up the screenshot. I'll minimize the real one so you can just see Investigator. So this is inside investigator it's taking the screenshot and now I'm just gonna all you have to do to make a pixel pattern is click to define the pixels so I'm gonna go here in the blue here in the dark maroon the light maroon up here in the blue then yellow 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 so I've defined my pixel pattern all I have to do is hit import and blue eye macro does all the work for me and I can do some find details like here for the range I'm just gonna put 10 and then for yes or no this determines where it's gonna go since I'm moving the mouse it's either gonna go to the center kinda like the average of your pixel pattern or is it gonna go to the first pixel in the sequence so yes goes to somewhere around the middle we'll do that one first I'll do both of them for you so you can see it so that's all I need to set up a pixel pattern. So I'm going to bring back up that capture, hit start. And as you can see, it moved right here, which is about the center from our top line of the blue and maroon to our yellow. I think it was about the center right there. All right, so let me bring this back and I'll type in no. And now it'll go to the first pixel. The first pixel would be in the blue, the first blue over here. So I'll hit start. As you can see, it went to the, the blue there. So you can use that um, to your advantage, however, whatever you want to do with the macro. Um, keep that in mind, the difference between yes and no. Sometimes it's better to go to the first pixel. Sometimes you just want it to go to that center of the image. And that's pretty much how you use it. So this works in all the cases. Uh, the investigator tool can be your friend. It can be really easy to use. So. Have fun. I hope that helps. And good luck.